Hard to believe it's been 15 years since terrorists hijacked planes and flew them into the World Trade Centers and the Pentagon. Tonight, Natalie Tendall talks with the sister of one of the victims. On September 11th, the world watched as nearly 3,000 people died, among them an Ohio native and die-hard Bengals fan. On this 15th anniversary, his family wants to make sure his memory is not forgotten. This is one of my favorite pictures of my brother. No matter where she goes, you will always see this bracelet around Barbara Mills's wrist. It's sort of like bringing my brother along for the journey. It simply says the name of her younger brother, Douglas McMillan Cherry, and the date he died, September 11, 2001. Every year on 9-11, though, they read the names one by one, and um, I still listen. Doug was originally from Ohio and moved to the Big Apple with his wife after college. Life was good. He had three young kids and a job he loved. He sold insurance, and his office was located in the South Tower. That's where he was that Tuesday morning. There was a lot of hope in the beginning that... Um, People were going to be found maybe in the rubble um, or that there were a lot of people on the streets. Um, I think we pretty much knew that night. A blessing this family has hung on to was the fact that Doug was able to make one last phone call to his wife before he died. His ability to say, I love you, I'm doing my best, I'm, I'm going to get out, those, those things. Uh, matter. Barbara says it was her family's love for each other, their country, and faith that has allowed them to move forward from that day. Because they saved us, really. They were, they were the reasons that we were able to survive intact. But even though it's been 15 years, it's something she'll never forget. August 31st is fine, and September 1st is just not. And you know what's going to come? And, and you just let it. And it's just as bad every year. It's still terrible. And she hopes the rest of the country doesn't forget either. She wants us to remember the patriotism. There was a huge love of community and people and country. And I'm sad that that didn't last. Remember what happened? He was murdered. Um, and this is a unique way of dying because every time they play the towers coming down on television or on documentaries, it's like watching my brother die over and over and over again. And remember that there were people, families, and stories behind the tragedy. He really loved the little guy. And um, he was nice to people just because he wanted to be nice to people. Barbara will be the first to tell you the loss doesn't get easier, but she's doing her best to make sure Doug's memory lives on. He's with her wherever she goes. It's helping him finish the life he really didn't get a chance to finish.